Hello TJ Tubers. George Libesi, a former player for Kaiser Chiefs and Mami Lodi Sundowns, believes that players age over 30 are not treated fairly in the Premier Soccer League. It has become increasingly difficult for players over 30 to find contracts in the top division as clubs focus on signing younger players to build for the future. Experienced players such as Luvuyo Memela, Sipiwe Shabalale and others are currently struggling to secure new clubs. Despite being 35 years old, Lebese has also faced challenges in finding a new club since leaving the American team Colorado Springs Switchbacks in 2021. In an interview with Josta Lala, on the Izinjaze Game podcast on YouTube, Libisi said that players over the age of 30 have to beg for contracts in South Africa, adding that clubs don't consider what the players could produce. It's different when you're on the wrong side of 30. Soccer is something else. You have to beg for contracts. You have to ask not popularly in other countries but here at home when you are on the other side of 30 they don't look at what you can produce they look at can we make business with this guy and if they can't make business they won't sign you said Lebesi. Lebesi's remarks follow closely after Itumelen Kune expressed dissatisfaction with how players aged 30 and above are treated in the football industry. Kune, who is facing challenges in securing a new club since departing from Chiefs, is now working as a sports analyst on SABC Sport. Despite being released by Kaiser Chiefs in June, Kune has not officially declared his retirement from professional football. On other news, Kaiser Chiefs have received unfortunate news as one of their regular players got injured while playing for the national team. Goalkeeper Fia Krentwari had to leave the field during Rwanda's 2025 Africa Cup of Nations qualifier against Nigeria on Monday night due to an injury. The Chiefs' shot stopper was forced off with an injury after 69 minutes and replaced by Clement Buhake. Despite Ntwari's injury, Rwanda managed to come from behind and defeat Nigeria 2-1 in Uyo. However, Rwanda's victory was not sufficient to secure their place in the Africa Cup of Nations next year as they finished third in Group D. The severity of Ntwari's injury is still unknown and Kaiser Chiefs will next play against Richards Bay FC on 27th November. Ntwari has played in every competitive game for Chiefs this season, with Bruce Vuma and Brandon Peterson also being options for selection. Josta Raza, a former Kaiser Chiefs midfielder, has raised concerns about the mental well-being of one of the club's highly rated players, despite not being a psychologist. The Soweto Giants are currently in the process of rebuilding with Tunisian coach Nasruddin Nabi at the helm. Chiefs are aiming to break a nearly decade-long streak without winning a trophy by combining promising young talent with experienced players in their squad. The team has had a mixed start to the 2024-2025 Betway Premiership season, securing two wins, a draw and suffering two defeats in their first five matches. Recently, Kaiser Chiefs was knocked out of the Calling Knockout Cup by Mamilodi Sundowns, 
leaving the NetBank Cup and league title as their remaining chances to revive their past glory in South African football. Zadla, who was part of the Amakosi squad that last won a trophy, the 2014-2015 league title under Stuart Baxter, believes that Nkosingi Pile Ngobo, one of the club's players, is struggling mentally which could be impacting his performance on the field. Furthermore, Ngobo seemed to have gained weight last season, appearing heavier than usual in recent months. This coincided with Kaiser Chiefs' worst ever season, finishing in 10th place. This boy at Kaiser Chiefs is not playing anymore. Ngobo, one of the best players on the ball, He's got a football mind, what a player, said Lata during his interview with George Lebesi on the Isinjaze Game podcast. But the mind is not right. That boy's mind has been messed up. The mental side of the game, that's where Chiefs has to look at it. Maybe go see a psychologist. Lebesi, who is also a former Amakosi midfielder, jumped in and added that the 25-year-old Ngobo needs love and care. And that's when he needs the love. Love him like work with him, he said. Hopefully, this conversation will get to him and he will deal with it, mental side of the game now. Not later, but now find help. Furthermore, Lebesi is of the view that Ngobo would thrive in a less pressured environment, away from the intense expectations and trophy drought that have plagued Chiefs in recent years. He, Ngobo, finds himself in a very unfortunate situation where Chiefs has to win, so you can't even nurse him, he said. It is a different scenario if Ngobo is at Sundowns now because Sundowns are winning and they have all these quality players. So they would have time to nurse him and tell him what to work on in certain areas to improve his game and bring him in slowly. Chiefs want results now because of what has been happening. So he is going to struggle in the current setup, Debussy added. Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video. If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please make sure to subscribe and give this video a like. Thank you.